Jenny. We've always got your back. We're lucky to have you on our team. I appreciate you saying that. It means a lot. Let's go out there and win. All right, ladies, listen up. It's the first game of the season. And once again, we're the defending state champions. <laughs> we win the title again this year. That makes five in a row. And that is a new record. How do we make history? By doing what we've done every other year, by working together and playing as a team. Yes. All right, so we are going to get out there. We are going to remind them who we are and how we got here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, bring it in. Who are we? Wildcats! Can't hear you. Wildcats! Again! Wildcats! Now get out there and show them who you are. Wow. Shin guards. Um, I think I saw some in the locker room. It's weird. That goes in the bathroom, hun. <sighs> this was the right decision, Cameron. I had a life. All of my friends were there. You play soccer on a team. By default, that's instant friends. I was team captain at Westfield, Mom. Do you know how hard I had to work to get that? Raleigh has won state four years in a row. With you on the team, they might as well call it five. Okay, look, if you just open your mind, you'll see that this is a win-win for both you and the school. Yeah, well, everyone will say they could have won it without me. All eyes will be on the championship team. They're wildcats, though. They're the enemy. No, they were the enemy. They aren't anymore. <laughs> you'll understand when you're older. Wow, that's really great. Thank you, Mom. What are you looking for? Um, chemistry room 131. Oh, no, chem's actually in 214. It's just down the hall and to the left. Oh, thanks. Mm -hmm. You're Haley, right? Yeah. Yeah, we just played each other. I was... I know who you are. Obviously.
take it this isn't chemistry class. Obviously. This is a test to verify that you have a handle on last year's material. Hi. Are you Cameron? Sorry, I went to the wrong room. <laughs> have a seat. It's just a little friendly hazy. I get it. <laughs> I'm so happy you're on our team now. You're such a good striker. Thanks. <laughs> Settle down. You may have noticed that we have a new student today. So please welcome Cameron Lowe to Raleigh High and Psychology 12. Let's do a little review and get Ms. Lowe up to speed. She's a teacher too? Yeah. And if you think she's only a hard ass on the field, just wait. I mean, it could be a little later, but that's fine. Hi, Cameron. Who's that? Yeah, like, what? I she's, so much of a dude. she's nice. She's in my psychology class. <laughs> Whatever. Hale, come on. I was being friendly. <laughs> you know I love you, right? Well, what are you going to do about it? What else do I have to do? girls, nice and tight. All right, one-on-one -on -one drills. Cameron, Haley. Haley, try and get past her. Is that as close as you've gotten to a championship trophy? Yeah, it's impressive. We did it all without you. You look good out there today, Cameron. Uh, thanks. Yeah, we're very lucky to have you on the team. You are officially a wildcat now. But enough with the pleasantries, I'll get right to the point. Of course. Academics come first. If your grades drop, you are suspended from the team. No ifs, ands, or buts. I will not play favorites in the classroom. Yeah, no, I, I wouldn't expect you to. Good. We're a tight-knit family. And playing as a team is paramount to bringing home another championship. It's my team, my rules. What happened to Jenny Pierce? Oh, you heard about that. Yeah, it's, um, it's a shame, but she's recovering. It's just going to take time. I mean, we miss her presence on the field, but I don't want you to worry about that. It's, uh, it's a tragic incident, but we have done everything in our power to make sure it never happens again. I wasn't worried. Good. I can tell that soccer means a lot to you. You throw yourself into it with passion, and I'd like to help you take it to the next level. Okay. So just a little friendly advice. 
You may want to consider laying off the late night snacking. So I have to tell you, I can't load up on carbs every night. It's gluten-free spelt. It's supposed to be really good for you. <laughs> You're not a rabbit. You're gonna waste away. I have to be in top condition this year. Have you given any thought to your studies? You drag me away from all my friends, bring me here to play soccer, and now you don't want me to care about it? But that's not what I said. I'm just asking if you've finished your homework. Over carbon molecule on this equation. What am I doing wrong? Everything you need to solve that question is right on the page. But it's not clear. Just do your best, Cameron. We can talk after class if you get it wrong. Don't look good. No, I'm fine. All right, yeah, Kimmy, go get the nurse, okay? Cameron, you stay put. I've got to get to practice. It could be a concussion. No, it's not. Well, the doctor will evaluate you, and we'll know for sure. I can't have a concussion, you know why? Because I feel fine. That wildcat really had its way with you. Who's the mascot? Brett Nelson. Total perv. He only became our mascot to get close to the cheerleaders. Ew. Cameron! Nurse said you hit your head today. I told you I'm fine. Both Mr. Kraft and Kimmy reported that she blacked out for a moment. What? No, I did not black out. You need to see a doctor. There's nothing wrong with me. Head injuries are serious. Right, once the doctor clears, you can come back to practice. The team needs you 100%. I'm sorry, Cameron. She's right. 
On purpose, didn't you? What the hell are you talking about? Did Haley tell you to knock me down the stairs? Oh, just look, I told Principal Jackson I was in math class, so right? Ask anybody. <laughs> yeah. Well, who was it then? I don't know. That boy should be expelled. It wasn't him. Honey, I deal with people every day who lie to get what they want. Mom. It was Haley. You have no proof of that. She hates me, and she's been giving me major attitudes since day one. Oh, maybe it was an accident. Yeah? Well, guess who's starting at center now? Well, the doctor says you have a mild concussion, and you need to heal. Um, our first game is tomorrow. Mm. Just one game, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> Concussion, so I'm benched. I'm sorry you can't play. You all right? Sure. Yeah. It's just kind of weird you staring like that. Oh, uh, sorry, I'm just, I'm glad you're okay. Well, you got some standout players. Yeah, Haley's really coming to Rome this season. Where's Cameron Lowe? I was expecting to see her. Coaching staff was looking forward to hearing my feedback. Yeah, well, she's been having some issues. On or off the field? Both, actually. Trouble at school, and she's really not a team player. Really? Last year, she scored the most goals in state. Well, what can I say? It's disappointing, for sure. She's just not gelling with the team. Hard to find that kind of raw talent, though, isn't it? Cameron? Hi. Uh, I just finished marking your tests. You didn't do so well. What did I get? You failed. I did, but I worked so hard. I swear, I studied until like 2 a.m. Well, I think you could use a refresher, so review the material and we'll meet later. Uh, yeah, as long as we can work around my soccer schedule. Okay. As you know, this school has a very strict academic policy in relation to athletics. One failed test, that's a warning, but you fail a second exam in any course, that could get you kicked off the soccer team. I'm gonna work my butt off. I won't fail another one. I promise. I'm here if you need me.
Hello? No, this is her daughter, Cameron. Okay. And... Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, here's my mom. Who is it? It's Dr. Jen. Hello? <laughs> okay, great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Good, good, Mags. I'm clear to play, coach. Great. Good to have you back. Coach, I'll take center. You'll get your reps in. Don't worry. Come on, forward. Stay wide, stay wide. All right, tighten up, defense. Man on, man on. Coach, I'm, I'm ready to play. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Well, then let me take my spot back. You have to earn it. I was team captain at Westfield. Exactly. At Westfield. Look, Haley got two goals and an assist in our first game. You think you can do better? I know I can. All right, that's out of line. Sideline now. Defense, press. Field, oh. Yeah. Girl. No, you tell him if he wants to make a deal, the house can't be on the table. No, I'll fight him to the death of each other. I have to go. Come here. Coach Chalmers, may I have a word? Of course. Cameron tells me you took her off her starting spot. I did. And replaced her with your own daughter? I don't have to justify my coaching decisions to you. Well, this is true, but would you mind explaining it to me? Seems a little too convenient. Cameron's a good player. We won the last game, and we won big without her. Soccer's a team sport. No single player is indispensable. My daughter's more than good. She's worked very hard to be where she is, and I don't want to see that go unnoticed. I'm not arguing with you. She has potential. I'm not talking about you. I mean the scouts. She wants to play college and maybe go pro after that, and you and I both know the effort that requires. I don't want her to miss a single opportunity. My responsibility is to my team, not your daughter's soccer career. Excuse me. My daughter's a better soccer player than yours, and you know it. You know what? I'm gonna file a complaint. No, please don't get all lawyer mom. What, there's clear favoritism. If you complain, that will only make things worse for me. You know what? There's a legal precedent for this sort of thing. No, mom, it's not even the coach's fault. It's Haley. Just, just let me handle this, please. Okay. I just love you, that's all. I know what you did. Oh, take your starting spot at center? Yeah, I did that. You planned to have the mascot ram me. You got rammed by the mascot? <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny, right, Cam? <gasps> ah! oh, oh, wow. What is wrong with you? Hey, whoa! Oh, oh, get out of me! Hey, oh my God. Stop! Oh, hey! That is enough! You're just a rich girl that gets whatever she wants. Haley, that's enough. All right, ladies. Jeez, coach, what is going on here? She's giving my daughter's spot to a player who doesn't deserve it. I deserve it. No, you don't. That is a very serious accusation, Ms. Lowe. But I can see how it looks. Rhonda, could you help clear this up? Yes, of course. And, and first of all, I think I owe both of you an apology. I could have handled this situation better. Haley's my daughter. 
and I understand how that must look. But as coach, I work extremely hard to find the right group of players who gel and also put points on the scoreboard. And last game, we found that combination. You don't switch horses in the middle of a race that you're winning. Thank you, Coach Chalmers. I appreciate the honesty and your willingness to see their perspective. Is this a joke? Cameron was starting center all last year and made the All-State team. I looked at your starting roster last year. Haley didn't start a game once. She's been training intensively in the off-season, and she's not the player she was last season. That may be true, but Cameron has more experience. It is low. Cameron. I think that Coach Thomas has been more than forthright about her reasons here. And given that she has brought four teams in a row to win the state championship, I think she has earned the right to run the team as she sees fit. I'm a state all-star. I believe you. But I'm not the one you need to impress. We still need to deal with the incident at hand. We have a zero tolerance policy for fighting, which typically results in automatic suspension. But she started it. You did. I am willing to make an exception here. But I need you both to promise me that this will never happen again. And I mean ever. I promise. Well, I guess I won't fight back then, Haley. Fine, I promise. Good. Okay, so we're done here, right? I can go now. No. This is so stupid. I really wouldn't be here if you hadn't gone all Jessica Jones on me. You got what was coming to you. I'm never letting you start summer again. What? Do it. As much as I'd like to ruin your face right now, I want to finish cleaning this little boy's playpen so we can get back on the field. Go right ahead. Seriously, do these idiots all think they're Picasso? <laughs> More like Picasso. <laughs> well, I can't wait until this season's over. Really? Don't you get sick of all the training and not eating ice cream and pumpkin scones until you puke? No, I love it. I live and breathe for this. Sounds like you want to quit. Nope. Yeah, your mom would probably kill you if you did. You have no idea. You just want me to quit. What does it matter what I want? It doesn't. It's just what my mom wants that matters. She was all state. And then some more knocked her up, and here I am. Why can't they just let us live our own lives? Because they don't have lives. <laughs> Your mom is a super coach. She wins every year and with different players. Yeah, imagine if she can't win with her own kid on the team. My mom dragged me away from my old team when she messed it up with my dad. She doesn't care about soccer. It's all about grades. Yeah, mom suck. <laughs> Seriously? Well, I don't want to be here all night. Get low, get low, get low. Good job, good job. Come on, forward, forward. Nice, good work, 30 seconds. I think I need more than that. Come on, you know the drill, 30 seconds. 
I can't. You missed practice today. You have to catch up. This is too much, Mom. Honey, I know it's hard now, but it's going to pay off later. Trust me. What, are you kidding me? You're walking away? You're giving up? Well, apparently this seems more important to you than it does to me. You don't know what you're talking about. OK, all of this, I am setting you up for life, all right, so that you have a shot at a future. Do you think if someone had done this for me, I would have ended up a high school soccer coach? Hell no. You are not throwing this away. The scout today said that she saw how much better you've gotten. You gonna throw that away too? No, you are not. You are going to come over here, I am going to blow this whistle, and you are going to work your ass off! Come on. Come on! <laughs> Whatever it takes. Pizza. Hey. Can we talk? Uh, right now is not the best time for a chat. OK, well, can I ask? Are you trying to get my attention or something? What are you talking about? You're not eating. Stress can do that to a person. Mom, I'm fine. You're not fine. Is this about your father and I? Meaning what? All your business trips and late nights? What? Was there another guy? No. Your father was the one bringing women home. What did you just say? I shouldn't have said that. It's not that simple. Oh my god. I, I had no idea. OK, look, we both love you. We both want what's best for you. That's why we came here, so you could play soccer. You think I care about soccer right now? Cameron. Cameron, come on. Cameron. I heard Haley quit. Yeah, no, she's taking the night off to study. It's not what she told me. If I were you, I'd practice more and gossip less. Maybe you wouldn't find yourself on the bench so often. Get back out there. Right, Cameron? I don't feel well. Well, it's hot. You're probably dehydrated. Why don't you grab some water? No, I'm going to puke.
Karen, hey. Hi. I heard you puked on the field the other day. Mmm, sexy, right? You had a great game, though. You weren't even 100%. <laughs> Thanks. And you got your old position back. Yeah, for now. So, uh, look, a um, bunch of people are going to Kimmy's party tonight. Do you want to come? Who's going to be there? Is Haley going? Um, uh, I don't know. I'll think about it. Okay, try not to peek in the pool. Kimmy. Look who I found. I'm glad you came. Beer? Uh, just water. I'm training. And you're dedicated. I like that. Where's Haley? Oh, um, I don't think she's coming. So what's your deal? What do you mean? Like, hobbies, interests. What are you passionate about? Come with me. I'll show you. You, uh, you see the Big Dipper? If you draw a line straight up from the cup, you'll bump into Polaris. Polaris? You know, a star. It never moves. There are more stars in the universe than there are grains of sand on every beach on Earth. Okay, so you like to nerd that on the telescope. <laughs> yes. But I think it makes us pretty special. How's your scone? I don't want to fight, Mom. I'm not fighting. So tell me, all this spare time you've had on your hands, how come you didn't go to Kimmy's party last night? What party? I don't know, some party. I heard Paul invite Cameron. Cameron? Yeah. Come on. Finish up. We're going to be late. Cameron, really? What the hell, Haley? Would you, would you stop? So you're cheating on me? You were using me. Using you? Your whole family is. What are you talking about? Listen, Cameron is a good person. Who cares about that? No, listen, she really is. But I love you. I wish I never met you. Hell? 
know. You think Paul's into you because you're hot? Because you think you're better than me? Haley, that was a mistake. I'm really sorry. Oh, I'm sure you are, you little hoe. He was the one that hit you down those stairs. How does it feel to get plowed by an animal? See you on the field, bitch! Was it you? I can't believe you had the balls to kiss me after that. I'm so sorry, please. Why? Come on, class is starting. The average score on this test was 73%. This is just one test. So don't be discouraged if you didn't do perfectly. There will be many more. That's it. See you next time. It's just one test. No, you don't understand. I'm already on probation. If the principal finds out I failed another test, he'll make me quit the team. Look, I'd hate to lose a good player, but I've already told you I can't show any favoritism. Please, I'm begging you. I can't. Is there anything else? It's Haley. What about her? She told me Paul was the one who ran me over on the stairs. Really? She said that? Yeah, and she put him up to it. I see. And she admitted this. I'm going to the principal. Unless? You give me a passing grade on this test. <laughs> well, that sounds an awful lot like blackmail. You sure you want to do this? Just let me retake the test or something. No. Cameron, you won't believe what I saw the other day. What? He's gonna be pissed. Is that Rhonda? Cameron! Uh-oh. What are you doing here? You never came home after school. I've been looking for you everywhere. Where's your mother? Does she know about this? Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Mom! I got kicked off the team. What? <sighs> Screwed up. Okay, well, we'll figure it out. No, it's over. I failed another test. They won't let me play. I'm really messed up, Mom. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get you a tutor or something, okay? Really? <sighs> okay. What are you doing here? Is your mom home? I'm sorry to disturb you, Coach Chalmers. What can I do for you? Cameron told me about the test she failed, and she has something to say to you. I'm sorry for what I said, Coach. I failed the test, and that's my fault. I just, I didn't want to get kicked off the team, but I'm going to focus on my studies and work my way back on. No. Player I've ever coached has spoken to me the way you did. But it takes a lot of integrity to come here and admit you were at fault. So I accept your apology. I know this season means a lot to you, and I know you moved here for it. Let's hope this can be a turning point. 
Isn't there something else you need to say to Haley, Cameron? Like what? Cameron falsely accused my daughter. Cameron, go to the car. Go. Coach, what my daughter said was reprehensible, but I believe her. I'm reporting you to the police. You do what you need to do. So proud of you for doing that. I blew it. No. no you just put your head down and focus like I know you can. They'll be back. Mom, you can't go to the police. I'm not going to. I just try to scare them. Don't take the bus tomorrow, okay? I'll pick you up. We'll grab dinner. So, does anyone have any questions? Cameron, will you come with me, please? going on this is a serious matter Cameron we need you to come clean Cameron yesterday did you attempt to blackmail Miss Chalmers over a failed test What's this about? Have a seat. Ms. Chalmers has made a formal report that Cameron blackmailed her for a higher mark on a test. What does my daughter say? She says she didn't do it. Ms. Chalmers says that you can corroborate her story and that you came with her to apologize. I don't know what she's talking about. I see. Maybe there's some sort of misunderstanding. Well, that's not what you said at my house. I'm launching a formal investigation into this. And until this is sorted out, I'm going to remove you from Ms. Chalmers' psychology class. But I need that class to graduate. Principal Jackson, if I may. Cameron is a very promising soccer player, and yes, she made a mistake, but I don't think she should lose her entire year because of it. What do you suggest? That she acknowledge what she did. And that she promised to follow my instructions without hesitation from now on. Without hesitation? What is this? Cameron. I did it. But I just, I didn't want to get kicked off the team. Your coach is offering you a third chance. I understand, and I want to play. There won't be a next time. Principal Jackson. You said Cameron blackmailed Rhonda, right? What did she blackmail her with? Mom, Mom. This is a mistake. We should never have moved here. Once I get back on the team. Back on the team? Are you kidding me? Cameron, do you have any idea what's happening to you right now? From this point on, your whole future's on the line. Forget soccer. You could get kicked out of school permanently. What? You threatened a teacher and then lied about it. I cover for you and you blow that too? This isn't something they just let go. Okay, but from now on, you don't talk to Rhonda or Haley. 
Okay, I'm gonna drop you off. I'm gonna pick you up every day after school. And you're gonna work your ass off in your studies. Do you hear me? Mom. What? I'm sorry. Good. Let's have a look at your test. I bet you'll do fine this time. That's not my test. What? That's not my handwriting. Yeah, you signed your name here, didn't you? Yeah, I, I, I wrote my name, but I don't recognize the rest of it. And I don't make W's like that. I don't understand. Someone changed my work. Who would do that? I don't know, but this isn't my work. That means I didn't fail the test. You have to give me another shot. Okay, look, I don't know what's going on here, but that is not what this means. Please. Look, if you pass the next test, I will recommend that you get to play again. But right now, your only proof is your word. Mr. Kraft, come on! Cameron, I will look into it. That's all I can promise. They didn't kick you out? No, I don't need your help. Sorry. Come on. Hey, you. What happened in the principal's office? I don't really want to talk about it. Mm. You're a badass bitch. Yeah, it's awesome. You know we've lost the last two games because Haley's at center. She's a good player. <laughs> Nothing like you. The whole team knows it. Look, I'm trying to be a team player. I can't be on Coach's bad side. at school today. What's up? How did Cameron know I was the mascot? <laughs> I have no idea. Is that really why you came over? Let me help you with your homework. I don't want to do this anymore. What do you mean? Cameron needs to know. She doesn't deserve this. Paul, don't go all soft on me. This? We're done. Separation, the move here, it was just, it was all too quick. You weren't ready and I pushed you. I'm so sorry. I'll be okay. <laughs> Good night, Mom. Good night, honey.
And did you see the driver? No. And the car? It was dark, like black or blue or something. Can you tell us anything more about it? Is it a SUV or a van? No, it was just a regular car. And why were you there? Your mom said you were in your room. Um, I got this note from Paul. Mr. Harrington wrote this? I think so. Cameron, do you have your driver's license? N no, just a permit. Is he doing okay? I don't know. Well, do you have any leads at all? I can't talk about that, but rest assured we're doing everything we can, okay? I'll be in touch. Thank you, officer. Thanks. I'm really sorry, Mom. I think Paul was trying to tell me something. Like what? Like who changed my test answers. Something's not right. I don't want you messed up in this anymore. work. Really? Absolutely. I think you're starting to get this. I can play. I don't know. Kraft told me. Welcome back. Go warm up. Not the outfit you should get used to wearing. I think you'll look good in some prison orange. Hey! Hey! Don't talk to my daughter, okay? You back on the team? I got an A on my chemistry test. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. And I saw the car. So? It was black. You think I hit him? You were pretty choked when he dumped you. So I just run over him with the car. Are you insane? Maybe you did it. I'm not the one who blackmailed her teacher. Haley, I need to tell you something. It's about Paul. You're really not gonna like it. Glad you're back. Thanks. All right, eyes on the board, ladies. Here's your lineup. What? I play midfield. Not today, you don't. Oh, this is our first playoff game. We lose and we're out. You have to start Cameron. She's our striker. And I'm your coach. I can't play that position. And I won't. All right, this is my team. And you will play the positions I put you in. Mom, she plays forward or I don't play at all.
You mind explaining yourself to me? Me? What about you, Mom? <laughs> you let Cameron start in your spot. You're screwing my boyfriend. <laughs> what? Kimmy saw you kiss him. Kimmy? You mean Cameron's BFF? Really? Oh, honey. You got played. Cameron got to start, and you sat. God, what is wrong with you? But Kimmy wouldn't do that. Honey, you got played. I'm so sorry, Paul. Rhonda. What is it? I can't understand you. Rhonda. Did it. Hello? No, it's just a little body damage. Seems silly to go through insurance. Yeah, I'll just pay cash. Can you hold on a sec? I'll be buying a bit to pick it up. Thanks. doing? You changed my test answers. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. Whatever, you're finished. Me? 
Well, I'm not the one who damaged school property, broke into a classroom, and stole students' personal information. That is not going to look good for the scouts, Cammie. It was you in the car, wasn't it? Did you do that to Jenny, too? Oh, sweetheart, you're confused. I'm not the enemy here. <laughs> Oof, that looked like it hurt. You have no idea who you're dealing with. So I would be very, very careful. Cameron? Hey, Mom. Hey, where were you? Practice went late. Well, you should have called. What happened? Just an accidental collision at practice. You should probably ice it. I'm really tired. I think I'm just gonna go to bed. Okay. Ah. Okay, good night, Mom. How are you feeling? I'm okay. You've been in med all day. You sure you're okay to play? <laughs> Mom, I've been waiting for this moment since I came to this school. I bet. You're gonna blow my way, sweetheart. So we all know that Cameron wasn't in class today, and obviously that means we can't count on her to show up for this game. That doesn't matter. Because at the end of the day, we are bigger than just one player. We're a team. Know that I am proud to be your coach. And tonight is the culmination of all your hard work. So let's get out there and warm up, because we have a game to win. I'll see you in a minute. Yeah, Kimmy? I know things. <laughs> That's not cryptic at all. I know things. You and Paul? It's gross, but I don't care. That's none of my business. I just want to win. And that means Cameron starts if she shows up. If she shows up. So? I agree. I don't understand. I want to win, too.
All right, ladies. When we win this today, we will have won more championships in a row than any other team in state history. Today is our day, and nobody can stand in our way. And this game is not about any one player, so remember to play together, because together, we are unbeatable. Bring it in. Who are we? Wildcats! I can't hear you! Wildcats! Let's get out there and make Woo! history! Kaylee. This is your day, honey. Today, you shine. You get out there and you show them who you really are. What happened? Hey! It's nothing. It's... Who did this to you? Mom, you can't say anything. Well, you can't play like this. Just let me play the game and I'll go see the doctor, okay? Hey, something worse happens to you. The scouts are out there. I have to play. Please. striker or I walk. Breath, substitution. Low, you're out. Cam striker. Haley's right wing. Hey, when you get a chance, lay an elbow in right there. In front of everyone? Do it. Mom, I'm gonna get kicked out of the game. You do it or we lose everything we've worked for. Locker room? I can't believe you've been playing like this. They hate me. Mm. Who cares about them? That's your audience. But they saw me too. But it was an accident. Mom, are you okay? I'm fine. You're the star now. You. You're the star. This bruising is bad. It's nothing, I'm fine. We need to get her to the hospital and get an x-ray. I'm really sorry. Can you play? You can't, baby. Mom! Listen, you're obviously in a lot of pain, but I don't think she has any broken ribs. Good, I'm playing. I don't think that's what she said. I don't recommend it. Mom, I can do this. Trust me. Please let her. I'm really sorry, Kim. What, after elbowing me? <laughs> All right, it was an accident. It was not an accident. Get out. Okay, well, again, I'm, I'm really sorry you can't play. We could juice you out there. Actually, she's good to go, if she wants. Are you sure? 
Nurse? I could, I could wrap it and she could probably get to the end of the game. Right, well then get on it. Okay, we need you both out on the field now. Okay, I'll see you out there. Thanks, Mom. on the field. Kate? Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. What? No one have brought you here. But I made it worse. Mm -hmm. 
I just wanted something for you that you didn't want. That's all. I love you, Mom. I love you, Winnie. So... I got this in the mail today. What are you waiting for? You? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I got in! 